Hey guys, it's me, it's Queen Oset Haru, and welcome to another exciting edition of Ask an Aquarius. Thank you for being here. Please hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already, and smack the bell. Now, I got a message the other day from a female, a cancer female. She is in love with an Aquarius. Her and the Aquarius are not talking. The Aquarius ghosted her because he got mad at her about God knows what. So she said to me, plain and simple, do you think he's thinking about me? And I'm like, <laughs> no, uh, no. If an Aquarius ghosts you or if an Aquarius, you know, stops talking to you, or, you know, whatever the case is, if they tell you it's over, whatever, they're not thinking about you. So you will be best not to think about them. Just wash about your mind and move on because I'm serious. They're thinking about if, if they think about you, it's not positive. Put it like that. Generally, what we're thinking is, I hope this motherfucker leave me alone. <laughs> That's generally what we're thinking. We're thinking, I hope they leave me alone. And we're thinking about, like, how can I duck them? What places do we commonly go to that I need to not go to? Maybe I can go while he or she is at work. You know, they're thinking about not seeing you. That's the only thing that comes to our mind is how to get the hell away from you, how to duck you, how not to run into you. You know, that's what's going through our mind. So thinking that maybe the Aquarius is thinking about me and pining away or maybe, you know, they're still in love with me and they're going to come back is not smart thinking. I wouldn't even set myself up for that kind of heartbreak. If your Aquarius has ghosted you or has walked away from you, put the Aquarius out of your mind because that's what the Aquarius is working on with you. Nine times out of ten. Now, mind you, it depends on the situation because every situation has nuances. But for the most part, if we blocked you or, you know, basically, you know, put up an energetic or a physical block, then we are not thinking about you. We don't want to talk to you. And we're hoping that you go away forever. And we go we go to measures to make sure that we don't run into you. We'll not go to some place that we normally go because you go, you might be there. You know, we're not, we're going to do everything we can not to see you. I call it ducking people. So I just, <laughs> I do everything I can not to see them simply because it's uncomfortable and we don't want a whole emotional display or a negative thing or anything along those lines. It's like we want a clean cut. So absolutely not. He's absolutely probably not thinking about you and you need to not think about him. And um, because I thought about this when she asked me about this, every time I'm not talking to someone or if every time that the relationship ends or whatever the case is, I move on, whatever the case is, I always leave their number in my phone for a limited amount of time, maybe like a year, just so if they call, I don't answer the phone because I'll forget their number. And they'll call after five months or six months because they always do. I don't know why. For some reason with Aquarius, people always try to get us back. You know, if they've wronged us or not, they always try to get us to come back. I don't know what that's about. Maybe we're entertaining to them or something. I don't know. But everybody I've ever been with has tried to get me to come back after they usually screwed up. They wanted me to come back. So I leave their number in my phone because I'm aware of that. And when they call, I know not to answer the phone. So generally at that point, what the Aquarius is thinking about is how to clean cut, how to keep you away from them, how not to run into you, how not to deal with no emotional stuff with you. That's what we're thinking about. And once we have that set in our mind, we don't think about you anymore. It's people that I have, you know, I can't even remember their names first. Some people first or last. Some people I can remember their face. You know, but like the further away from the situation we get, like if I think back to like high school or college, I can't remember any of them people, you know, and if they still sitting around thinking about me, shame on them because I can't even remember most of them what they even look like, much less any situations we may have gotten into. You know, once I let something go, it's gone. I'm not holding on to the anger. I'm not holding on to the grudge. I'm not holding on to the memories is gone. So. When she asked me that, I thought that, you know, a lot of people ask me that question. They do. When they get ghosted by an Aquarius or by somebody else, a lot of people ask me, do you think they're thinking about me? Probably not. When it comes to an Aquarius, probably not. Now, maybe somebody else, 
you know, maybe a, another cancer, maybe a Pisces, maybe somebody else will continue to think about you. But the Aquarius is only going to think about you if you have a profound impact on our lives. And even if you have a profound impact, that doesn't mean we're going to talk to you. It just rem it means we remember. You know, I have two Libras right now who had profound impacts on my life that I still love, but I don't talk to. So they come to my mind from time to time, but I'm still not talking to them. So if somebody had a really profound impact, then I definitely say yes, especially if it was years. Like somebody that I was around for years. I was around both of my Libras for like nine going on 10 years. So I, they do come to my mind. But somebody that I was just seeing for a couple of weeks, a couple of months, you know, something something like something that really didn't mean that much or wasn't that big of a deal, wasn't a long relationship, wasn't profound energy. I can't even remember their names. So if you have that situation, go on with an Aquarius, just move on and don't sit there racking your brain about that at all. It's not worth your time. OK, see you later.